Hello, and welcome to my first ever Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Half-Life, the original. Uh, it was released way, way back in November 1998. Uh, developed by Valve and published by Sierra Studios. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find out more information about it and where to buy it and stuff like that. But uh, I have played this before. A long, long time ago, many moons ago, um, I loved it, and it's always been in my head as one of my favorite games. Uh, but I don't remember it all, because it has been quite some time. So I thought this would be a great place to start, you know, to get into the Let's Plays, um, something somewhat familiar, and I'm going to enjoy it, that's for sure, and hopefully you guys will too. Uh, so basically what's happening now is I've just loaded up um, the hazard course, which is, I guess, like a tutorial. And I just want to be thorough for you guys. You know, I don't want to miss out too many things or jump ahead or... So hopefully that's okay. And uh, here we go. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Okie dokie. As you can see, obviously it's not the best graphics. Uh, and maybe for the time, like 1998, it wasn't too bad. But uh, it's definitely not what you're expecting compared to what, you, what we get these days, you know? Okay, so there's my suit. Yoink. Thank you. Okay. Uh, did I go? Did I just come from here? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. This corner? Yeah. So basically just move around, blah 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 blah, jump, duck, all the good stuff, you know. Get loosey-goosey. jump high enough to go up there. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. Very good. Cheers, mate. Yeah, that was really tricky, by the way. No, you will it, now it duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Okay. Super hard, this is. Wait, did I? Okay. I thought I messed that up for a minute. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. Okie dokie. Jump. Oops. Duck. Jump. Good work. You look prepared for the next stage. Yeah, I am. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Okay. Jump, duck. Jump, duck. 
Okay, I see. Oops. Okay. Let me out. Nice job. Ooh. I like the sound effect in here. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Okay. Come back down. Yeah, okay, that didn't exactly work like you said it would. Move backward. Okay, that's better. <laughs> she lied! Kind of. She didn't. Okay. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. Hmm. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, boy. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Okie dokie. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button, and I will demonstrate the move. Okay, so I'll collect this thing here. Looks like a backpack of some sort. Power assist movement activated. Nice. Okay, press the button. Oh, she did it anyways. Okay, so gonna run, duck, then jump. Run, duck, jump. Nice job. Yeah. That's just how we roll around here. Oops. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, where are we going? I love that noise. Oops. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Okay. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. If I take any damage, like the blood kind of gives me a sense that I will. Okay, I missed, but good enough. <laughs> um, okay. Minor fracture. Um. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Fair enough. Nice. Well, I kind of need one of these in real life right now because I have a fractured foot, so... I don't know where I'm f gonna find one, but it would help. You're running pretty fast. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Okay. Oops, what happened there? Ooh. Fantastic. What is this? Okay. Quick loading screens, that's a good sign. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Uh. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. Okay. Well, just for argument's sake, I'm gonna jump like she said. <laughs> Obviously I can't because he hit the pipe above. So, whoops, push the box in the hole. Voila! If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. 
To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Okay, so I gotta get through here. Move the box. It's good. Uh, okay, okay. I gotta get up there, I'm assuming. Oh, the strafe is so sensitive. Okay, so, push that. Go. I understand. Okay. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. The trusty crowbar. I have many good memories of this thing. Yeah. It's so satisfying just to rip shit apart. Yeah, yeah, you're not safe either. That's it. And you. Okay. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Uh, these are um, power-ups for the the suit's energy. Sorry, I can't resist uh, just smashing shit to pieces. You know, it's it's very satisfying. Door, door. No, okay. So flashlight on, and through we go. Without falling off, I'm assuming is the goal here. And just crushing all the little bugs that we find. That's also weirdly satisfying. Just that little crunch noise. Great. Remember your cool. flashlight drains power. So switch it off when you don't need it. Done. Who who said that anyway? Where are you? Weird. Where is she? Uh -huh. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. That sounds like fun. What's down here? More. Oops. Okay, I'm at full capacity. Let's go shoot some stuff. You have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Okay. Commencing sequence in Oops. five, four, three, two, one. Where? Oh. Hey, I got it. Wait. Ah. Wait. Oi. Oops. Oi! Uh, gotcha. I did not hear that come up. Range. Please advance to the next area. Uh, okay, that was fun. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Okay. Something tells me that that's gonna hurt if I don't fall in, so... Here we go. Uh, okay. Now... Here... Catch 
You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free uh, to swim on to the end of the course. Okay, I'm guessing it would show if I was under under the water for long enough, but I wasn't, so it didn't affect me. So now I can go through here. Okay. This sounds ominous. Oh. What was that? Oh, maybe the pipes. The stuff rushing through the pipes. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Okay, so this works exactly the same as the health points. Perfect. Okay. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Okay, so I'm gonna get damaged here, I'm assuming. Alright, bit of steam. Oh shit. <laughs> Scared me. Okay. Proximity to radiation. Activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous iron. Ooh. Okay, I have to jump that. Oh, you didn't even jump! Okay, that was a big fail. Please advance to the next area. Okay. Press this little thing. Nice. Where are we? Hey! What's Lead up? Lead the security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Okay. Wait, hey, where are you going, boy? Sure, I'll follow you. That's right. Let's go. Oh, there's another. You! What's going on, bro? Nothing, okay. You good? Mm. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I needed him to do, otherwise I wouldn't have got through. Fair enough. Is he gonna... No. He stays there. Okay. Press your use key to engage the tray. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Okay. Nice. Okay, and I think that's the end of the hazard course or the tutorial. I'm just gonna pause it. Congratulations on yep, completing just done. the Black Mesa hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. We're on the right track here, guys. Okay, so that was the end of my first ever Let's Play episode. And in the next one, we'll start the full game. And we'll find out what's going on, uh, what we need to be doing, who we are, you know, all the good stuff. Okay, thanks for listening. Ciao.